Hey guys, how we doing? Uh, if you liked that ride yesterday, going to go check out that car. And uh, I was taking a little break from working on the bus. I did some painting on it and uh, decided to go shopping. And uh, Sunday morning, Saturday morning is a real good time to kind of go look at Craigslist and see what pops up and uh, see what you can kind of make a deal on it. And you know, do your magic as far as going back and forth, talking to, emailing and calling and you know, time to go set up and beat everybody else out and uh, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so this time uh, don't look it's gonna I offered 600 bucks on it but I don't think it was worth it I think uh, by the time I would have got everything done uh, what I would have made for my time putting into it it just wasn't just wasn't anything there you know a couple hundred bucks and the other way would have went uh, it could have you could have lost a good amount of money trying to uh, having to put a motor in or something like that so I bypassed that, and uh, anyway, <laughs> we're uh, back on working on the bus. I did uh, all the painting on the cabinets that I talked about, got that knocked out, and uh, shampooing and whatever. Here, I'll show you instead of looking. This is uh, that one cabinet. It was probably the worst one that was in the back. We uh, were all over it. This is oil base. It's actually a mix of that one. And that one, um, rust oleum, you know, I don't know. Same, probably the same stuff that's in uh, spray bombs, but uh, seems like it goes on much thicker when you do it with a brush. So we mixed that up in a uh, little four inch roller, kind of hit all the pieces that had any kind of staining on them. As you can see. I, t I basically, you know, 90% white, 10% gray, and it just kind of knocked the uh, color down so it wasn't bright white. And the areas that didn't need it, I really didn't bother going to hit. I didn't want to screw up the aesthetics of it too much. Like when you open a cabinet and you look inside, you, how does it look? Yeah. Bear with me. Did I drop it off the end of the uh, counter? So basically when you look inside it, you know, it looks uh, somewhat relevant. I tried to uh, soak into the end grain as much as possible, but it's still a little on the uh, transparent side. That's okay. The whole idea, again, is just to get rid of that smell. That's all that area that was damaged down below. I'll let you up. Oh, there you go. Kinda... There you go. So. And afterwards, I just don't want to see any of the uh, painting that I did once it's all reassembled. This is the uh, middle cabinet. Same thing, just kind of went around and painted everything in those. All the area you're not going to see, this is where the water tank is right here. And this is, uh, you would open up and see this, I didn't bother painting inside there. That's the vent that goes up top for the AC, and that's where I have all that damage where that big nest was sitting so I I coated all that it's kind of funny you look at the uh, there's like a black foam on there one must be one side up and one side down because that was like one coat it covered the whole thing I nailed that thing about four or five times and just kept sucking it in but I think it's pretty good it's it's not porous you know and there's the box that uh, houses the AC unit up there too the two speakers are painted that whole thing you see any of that and more and inside of the drawer and shelving units and some of it got all of it painted some of it just got you know where there was some damage at the edges of that thing all right then oh we also did this in the back Sorry. look at all the painting at one time I uh, painted the the deck lid too. It had um, some standing on it. There was an air conditioner sitting right in the middle and it had like little roads that they went around the air conditioner and it left a bunch of stains on there. So just repainted that white to kind of clean it up. All right. And then I went in the house. We have a couple of shampooers down in the basement. Your house is like my house. It's uh, half the stuff works. And the old stuff, <laughs> you buy a new one, the old one gets tossed in the basement. So I got one uh, shampooer and 
<laughs> I put water in the holding tank, get pissed out of the holding tanks. Like, what the hell? What we? So, I got rid of that one. Grabbed another one that was in the upstairs closet. Got this one all set up. It, it held fluid, but um, it's supposed to have a separate chamber. Or rather, detergent. And uh, it's missing a plug on it, so I poured that in. It just poured right out the other end of it. So I pre-mixed it in the tank. And uh, after I pre-mixed it in the tank, I had the wand assembly attached to it, which is this guy. Actually works pretty good. These things rotate. Uh, they got like a lot of torque to them too. They don't stall out that easy. Not as easy as you would think. Um, so I pull the trigger and what happens? It just shoots like a, a single stream of water straight out and just goes and then stops. So I noticed it was missing that guy, that white piece right there, the little nozzle. So I went back to the other one, which was a different make, and ripped it out with a pair of ice grips out of that one, and then stuffed it in the hole there. <laughs> it's like, come on, I just want to get this stupid thing done. So, uh, shampooed the seats, came out pretty good. Um, a little bit of staining on this one, but I think it's more, um, you like kids with soda or something like that, and it left like a red, it's more of like a red color to it. It has nothing to do with uh, there. Uh, some kids Kool-Aid or something like that. But uh, everything else pretty much came right out. They're actually looking pretty good and uh, you know, they're still wet some wet so you're kind of seeing a faux finish from uh, from that. And we nailed the two front seats. They came out really nice. And uh, the creme de la creme I would say. camera's picking it up. I don't know if it makes it look like a stain or not. It's just the lighting on the outside the way it's hitting it. But uh, anyway, trust me. The floors. You guys remember what those floors look like? I don't have the light on me. They uh, came back actually quite well. I don't know if it's me. I'm looking at this camera. It looks like it's staining, but if I'm looking at it... Alright, I'm getting flashlight. If I look at it normal, I don't see it. Okay. I think what you're seeing is just the pattern from the um, the shampoo over itself. But they came out uh, pretty nice. It, it, compared to what it was, I mean, those things, even like those plastic strips there, they were just uh, solid brown. And the seeds came out nice. Once they dry, it'll look even better. So it's smelling pretty good. I took a Febreze extra strength and uh, soaked all the um, the vents. That's what that towel was down there for because it was dripping. I just soaked all those vents inside there before I put it back together. And the same thing with the uh, floor heater in the back. Just kind of soaked that thing real good with the Febreze too. So that's it. We're getting ready to uh, start putting the interior back together. And I figure I'd just make a quick little video just kind of showing where it is right now before I do that. And uh, kind of hoping and planning that I should have like 80 to 90% of it back in by the end of tonight. Oh, I even did the rug that was uh, on the floor in there. Even that came out really nice. But I have a feeling that that's not even original because it's got more of like a greenish look to it. So I just think it's, uh, it was like an outdoor mat or something. It's got rubber on the back. So if it doesn't, it's got no stink on it, I'll throw it back in and uh, let my parents change that out on their own, uh, on their time, give them something to do. They're retired. <laughs> One last thing we can play with. I just uh, ran this in the house and I threw some water in the holding tank. And uh, that's the little pump that, that powers it. And uh, this guy right here is like a little access cover. And yeah, it's got a float on it. That thing right there. And two wires come out of that, and that makes the, the water gauge to tell you how much you got. So let's see what we got. Hook the power to this thing. Pump it in. See if the pump works. All right, we got brown and blue. I'm gonna call blue hot. 50/50 shot and brown. Brown ground. There we go. Shoots out actually pretty good. 
good. I don't need a pump. And uh, that's kind of what came out of there. Flip you back. There you go. Nice, huh? That's nice tea. How do you think that jug smells? <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching again. And uh, stay tuned and uh, hopefully get this thing finished up uh, coming in the next month. Kind of have everything done. Take care.